going on, guys? X Factor Gaming here, and we're back with the tenth episode. Can you believe it? The tenth episode in the uh, from the collection series. Today's topic: spiritual warfare. We'll play it, then I'll tell you if you should buy it or not. Just like in every episode, let's get right to it. <clears throat> and we're back with spiritual warfare. Never thought I'd say those words on this channel, but oh well, here we are. Oh, sorry. Kick the tripod. Anyway, we're gonna go ahead and sign in, and I'll explain the game to you as we go along. So, we're starting here at the park. And, uh... We got all the, uh... What we gotta do here first, I'm gonna go pick up this vial of the wrath, vial of the wrath of God, which is actually what that's called. The pear is one of the fruits of the spirit that you can get to throw at people to convert them over. I'm kind of curious, though. What happens if you set that there? Nothing. We're heading downward. Now the idea is to get the belt of truth in order to exit the park. I like the animation that occurs when you throw throw your fruit at somebody. Y'all see that? And when you and this this will sometimes happen where you can actually get more uh, more um more doves. And if you get up to ten questions without getting one wrong. <clears throat> then the amount of devs doubles and you get some hearts. Let's see if we can do that. So far, so good. Okay, so we got all five right. Next time there will be five more if we get those right. I think we can get that. And that raft, you need to get a certain... I believe it's the Jawbone of Solomon that you need. Or Samson, it's one of those two. Anyway, more enemies to convert here. A few more there. Down we go. Or we can't go down, brick wall. To the right we go. Following along this path here. Zoom in just a little bit. That uh, I'll cut off the screen. That'll work. <clears throat> anyway, we're moving along, and we find some more enemies here. Just use A to hurl your fruit at them. I mean, it kind of tells you what the controls are up there in the top of the corner. The vial of God's wrath is B, and the uh, Fruit of the Spirit, whatever you have, pears or apples, is A. As for the music, it's all Bible songs. And there's another chance at some currency. Let's talk to him. Stop with the preacher to own every creature. So, <clears throat> question number six is where we are. If we can get up to question 10 without missing a question, it'll double, it'll give us double the bonus. And you use A to lock in your answer. And we got there, so now we get, we get the bonus. Then it'll take us back. Watch out for those little red devils that come out of some people. They can actually hurt you. Like they'll cut the boss will, the boss of the stage will wind up throwing them at you. All you gotta do is you and I'll I'll tell you what to do that at that point. But we can't get out just yet. We have to go back and find the boss and fight him. He's got the uh the belt of truth that we need. Go. 
You know, the screen scrolling, I would have thought would have been a little janky, but it's not. You know, we find the boss by taking this staircase to the underground, and then going straight down. They got everybody you meet on the way. And there's the, uh, the anointing of the anointing oil. That'll restore health when you use it. And you can throw fruit while you're on the ladder easily. Just press A, A going up or down. Now, the spirit up there that is represented by doves, that's your currency. We have 71 of those. We don't need to do anything with that exit yet, because we haven't fought the boss, but we're about to. Six pieces of the armor of God. You, the object of the game is to collect all the armor. It's strewn out about, strewn about throughout the city. Hang on, I, uh, let's cut this out, I guess. Yeah, I've got a lot of cutting to do, don't I? <laughs> anyway, we're back now. We make our way out of the underground area. But before we do, we have to uncover this room right here, <coughs> because we do have the currency to go get the apples, which are also fruit of the spirit. Don't worry, the uh, vial of wrath of God will not hurt you. I think it's just for blowing way off, because I've tried it on enemies and it doesn't do anything to them. And there's the door, we go in it. There's an apple, it's going to cost 40 spirit, but we have enough spirit to go along, so we can do that. <clears throat> and then if you walk far enough to the left, you're going to find a ladder which you need to go up. This one right here. You can take either door, it doesn't really matter which one, they both lead out. But as for my thoughts on the music, I think it's actually fitting of this game to have only Bible music here. I think the only real thing I have with this game thus far is the... is... it's... it's really easy to kill an enemy, but it's hard for you to die. You have three hits while the enemy only has one. <coughs> As for the other parts of the game, I don't think I can complain that much. As we're about to head out of the park, and we'll get about another minute of gameplay in here. I don't know why I did that. I'm gonna blow up these rocks to see if I can get some more vials of the of, of the wrath of God. Not that I needed them, but okay. I guess it's always good to have some extras. You're always gonna have some extra spirit, though, which is. Which is good. Good because the more you have, the more you can trade in towards new items. <clears throat> Speaking of items, this is your item select screen right here. What you can do, 
the like the praying hands will re will do will restore health, half a heart. The anointing the anointing oil fills it right back up again. And the vial of God's wrath, drop vial with bay, that actually explodes wherever you drop it. So you have different fruits of the spirit. So you have the pear, the pomegranate, the apple, the grapes of wrath, and the banana. We're gonna actually switch over to the apple here if we can. Represents patience. The pear represents meekness. The pomegranate <coughs> represents love. And you can use that command there to end the game, obviously, but we're not gonna do that. I'm gonna go a little bit further to show you what's beyond the park. And then we'll do the rest of the game in another level. Oh cool, we do we actually do have the apples. It's the apples that are kind of weird. The pears will go in a straight line every time. Looks like the apples are kind of the apples are what you need to figure out how to work with. At least you get as many apples as you can handle. <clears throat> now I know right where the exit is, I just wanted to show you the rest of the park. It's right over there. Right through the... right through the, uh, thing there. Yeah, I know. Push that rock out of the way and we're out. Now we're in the downtown area. I got two and one there, nice. Now we're gonna go until we finally die because I want to get this video edited sometime tonight. <laughs> I like the I like the apples though. I have to say, sometimes they can hit they can actually hit whoever's in your path. And we died, so that's actually going to end. <clears throat> that's gonna end spiritual warfare. We'll be right back with my final take in just a sec. Now the question is, should you buy spiritual warfare? No. Not really. I mean, I'm not sure how much my buddy paid for this, but, uh, it's really not worth it. A lot of the Color Dream slash Wisdom Tree games aren't worth it. So, that being said, uh, don't pick this one up unless you know your Bible trivia. Or unless you grew up around the Bible and around church like I did. Anyway, for now, guys, this has been X Factor Gaming, and this has also been from the collection... You guys have been amazing. Keep watching, keep liking, commenting, subscribing, and we'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.